There's always something to fulfill you out here. You're always seeing something different. It ain't the same old thing. It might look like that, but it ain't. You come out with your little problem, you'd be able to talk to the Lord on the boat about your problem all day, you know what I mean? Nobody here. <laughs> Sky and water. I'm Ernest L. McIntosh. I'm an oyster farmer. We crab for a long time. We I crabbed for 40 some years, but this is something different, altogether different. I know I was getting up in age, but I had a chance to reach out for an oyster lease. I told my son, my brother, my nephews, and all who was working with me. I said, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna do something different with what everybody else is doing. You know, and at my age, I figured it was time for me to either try something and either make it, I don't. I kept hearing people wanting to pay more and more for oysters, you know. And I see other, some of them other states was growing the single oysters or something. I said, you know what? My son wanted to work with me. I said, let's try the uh, oysters. UGA with the state of Georgia, it started with seven harvesters. And we was one of them. We was the only one been able to survive it. We got into it and we fought it. And we stuck with it. And Right now and today, there's no one else in it in the state. So we are one of the first. It did not happen in a year or two. So it was a couple years before it finally started sinking in the year. You know, we got this. You never have it all together in the oyster business. There's always something that's going to try to crumble you. You know, most people go home and on the weekends, Friday come, they go home, it's, the job's done. Not as an oyster farmer. You had to start from a seed. You could probably put a million in the palm of my hand. And you just like, you got kids, you know, a baby, you had to tend to them every day. You know, I comes out pretty much every day. Even if I just come and look at them, it's work. But you just got to do it and just keep going at it because you're trying to reach at your goal. You really don't never get a relaxation feeling in the oyster farming until it goes to the customer. <laughs> then you get a little relaxed. But until then, you're always constantly putting your hands on them to give yourself some kind of comfortability that, yeah, you know, these guys, you're all right. We're going to make it, you're going to grow. They grow real good and they grow real fast. But the problem is the sand and the mud try to settle on them. And you got to come in here and keep washing them, make sure that they stay rinsed and stay clean. It's constant work, man. It's, if you want to be successful in it, you got to stay at it. You know, because Mother Nature ain't gonna wait on you. The tide's not gonna wait on you. It's a lot of work before that oyster gets to anybody. And I want them to know where it came from and who took care of it. I'm getting a little older. I hadn't give up yet. <laughs> I still got good health and and I work every day, but I look at him as when I first got started. Me and him butt heads. I want to go back to some of the old tradition way. He said, Daddy, no, we don't want to go back to that now. Let's, it's still head. <laughs> so 
we pretty much, you keep me moving ahead. It's make me feel like I know what all I accomplished in life. They want it in, and it'll keep going on and on. Cause he loved it. I had that moment in life where, you know, you, you try to figure out what's your destiny, what's for you. And all the time I can remember from a little fella, my grandfather, so I always say, you know, what you be looking for is always in your hands, you know. Um, eventually I found out that this was what I would needed to be at, right here, abortion with my dad. Once you eat one of them, I know, for me to say, you, it pretty much sticks with you for the rest of your life. It bum fums you every time you eat one. <laughs> You just want to try the next one to see if that one tastes like the last one. What? It's good. Got a good taste. Got plenty of salt. Make you want to keep on eating. <laughs> I want to eat another one. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. They make you feel good sitting down and look back at what you raised from a little spot. Yeah. Really yeah. 